Hey there, everybody. Don Evans here from MachReport.com. And today, I have a very easy watch review. What do I mean by that? Well, certain watches are just easier to review than others, and this is one of them. And the reason is, it's because it's a really great watch. This is the Venturo Skin Diver by Grupo Gamma. You've seen probably the two other Venturo watches that I reviewed, uh, the first two models. And I'm sure you've seen all the Grupo Gamma models that I've reviewed over the years. This one is a take, if you will, on the Grupo Gamma Dive Master. But it's much thinner, it's a smaller case, a little more of that vintage design. You're also looking at a price of $500 for this. And the big first tier, and something I didn't realize initially, I it just hadn't dawned on me until I saw a comment about it, was this is the first time Venturo or Grupo Gamma have produced a stainless steel bracelet. Every other one of their watches has always come on a rubber strap or a leather strap. And it just did not dawn on me that this is the first time they have produced a bracelet. And it's a great one as well. Let me go ahead and give you all the specifications. You're looking at a 40 millimeter case, a 41 millimeter bezel. So the bezel overhangs the case just a little bit. 12 millimeters thick or thin, depending on how you want to look at that. Now your bezel is stainless steel, the insert is stainless steel as well, and then it's coated in the black, and then you have the Super Luminova filled markers. 48 millimeter, or excuse me, 48.5 millimeter lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug width, you have a box sapphire crystal. This one here, the no date versions, there are three versions of this watch. This is the no date C3, there is a date C3, that's gonna use the Miyota 9015, and then this one and the old radium version have no date, and that is the Miyota 9039. Uh, the bracelet has not only screws for the links, but also has quick change pins. This is a sandwich dial filled with loom, 200 meters water resistant, and as I said, $500. So when you go ahead and you look around at the case of the watch, you see that familiar 60s style skin diver case. Now, what is skin diver? Well, skin diver isn't technically, you know, for scuba diving. It's more recreational style diving. That's why it's not meant to really be worn over a wetsuit. That's, so that's why they call it a skin diver. Um, it does not have a dive extension on the clasp. Uh, your, your standard normal clasp, but your flip lock, very nice, works, uh, works very well, and the clasp doesn't like jet out or excuse me, that flip lock doesn't jet out like while it's on your wrist. So it's not a cheap uh, clasp. And let's stick with the bracelet here for a second. So the bracelet is fantastic. If you've ever had a bracelet where the links can fold on top of each other, this is that. You can literally take these links and fold them up like an accordion, which means on the wrist, it's extremely comfortable. Uh, here you can see it on my seven and a half inch wrist. This is a wonderful bracelet. Now, I'm not a big fan of quick change pins. Uh, somebody's gonna have to change my mind about that. The Oris I reviewed, it was done in a very different way. It was a, kick, a quick change bracelet, but it didn't have just your standard little spring pins with the little push bar on it. It, it actually wrapped around a solid lug bar. Very, very different uh, way that they uh, did that versus the functionality of this. Now. It could very well last a very long time. In my experience, I just don't think for long term that these quick change pins on a bracelet or a strap for that matter are a very good thing. That said, I do love the bracelet. Very, very nice, very comfortable, very solid. Uh, you have your standard Venturo case back. Uh, you know, nothing extraordinary here, but it is a nice, solid case back. When you come around to the case here and the dial, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You have a black dial, it's a sandwich dial, it's filled, uh, filled with loom all over the place, same as the bezel. Now, I know, I know some people are probably gonna balk and say, well, it's not a ceramic bezel, it's not a sapphire bezel. I fully understand. T to be honest, I thought it was a matte 
ceramic bezel when when I first got it and then looking it up I realized it's not it's a, a you know PVD coated stainless bezel now I like the look of it how is it going to wear over time how's it going to look in a year or two I can't answer that question right now and that's why I know some people would prefer ceramic or sapphire uh, I get you 100% uh, you have a nice solid screw down crown here doesn't stick out too much from the case I really don't feel it on the back of my hand when I'm wearing it um, obviously that depends on the size of your wrist and how you have it sized, but for me, not an issue. Bezel is super easy to grip, super easy to turn. When I say super easy, I mean it's not rolling around, but it's a nice clicky bezel, the type of bezel that you want on a dive watch. Uh, you have the Miyota 9039. I'm a big no date fan, and the fact that, of course, this is a no date movement, so no phantom date wheel there when you pull out the crown and everything like that. I mean, like I said, this is an easy watch to review because it's just a darn good watch. Very attractive, in my opinion, uh, for a good price. You're right at $500, and for $500, you're getting a lot. I mean, yes, you could probably want ceramic or sapphire for that, uh, for that bezel insert. That's probably the only thing missing. But the fact that it's not and it has the PV code, uh, PVD-coated steel bezel... It's a little more vintage style, so I kind of get what they were going with there. If you want to see more about this, there's going to be a ton of links in the description below. So head over to watchreport.com, head over to the uh, Grupo Gamma slash Ventura website, and you can find uh, all that information out. Uh, like, comment, share, follow us on social media. You know the drill. I'll have all the links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.